Guys, from the soy sauce assassin, welcome to another episode of Cigar Review. Today, I am a little excited because EPC just released these different, more budget friendly, everyday smoking line, and I plan to review it so I can decide whether or not I can go buy boxes of these things. Because you guys know, EPC cigars are not necessarily expensive and not necessarily cheap. But have, have them make these cigars that's in the $9, $10 range. Makes it a lot easier to enjoy more cigars. And then, you know, it's just... It looks more of a everyday cigar rather than, hey, you gotta be careful. There's only 10 of them. Smoke them. It's another few hundred bucks. But one of these might solve the issue. So I do have the other one. I think it was Maduro. And this is the Sumatra. Uh, so yeah, let's take a look at the Sumatra real quick. Okay, EP Carrillo Sumatra. It is 6x52 Toro, $10 a stick in a box of 24. The wrapper is Ecuadorian Sumatra wrapper with two binder, Nicaraguan and Honduras. And the filler is Nicaraguan and Dominican Republic. That makes the cigar extremely matte and almost velvety feel to it and bumpy. And that's pretty much it for this one. Let's get smoking. Okay. Okay, so I am praying. I am really hoping this is good. Okay, so first of all, we had the bottom band, which is not a ribbon like that. They obviously, didn't waste any space. They put a, a QR code on there with their logo, the EP logo on there. It's kind of weird because I always call it EPC or EP Carrillo, but like this is you know really not it's ep carrillo not what it's ernesto perez carrillo so i don't know why do i always shorten it hmm i would say it's maybe earthy smell but it's not a lot to it. Yeah, I like this one. All right, draws. Ooh. Okay. Grain, rice, hay. leathery taste it has a lot of taste like right away i felt like i'm drinking some sort of like a barley tea or something it's a lot of hay and gray light this up It's a very, very, very filling. 
very very feeling bodied grain hay woodsiness pepper bready like i said like i'm almost like rice like um grain ta uh, taste smoke output is ridiculous that's what i like take a puff everything comes in Ooh. There's a lot going on. Very filling. Pepper is strong though. Pepper is strong. Almost tastes like this. Gonna be a little bit nuttiness. And there is a little bit of leather. A lot going on. A lot. A lot going on. A lot flavor. That's a lot of body. All right, I taste a little bit barnyard as well. Earthiness. Okay, without smoking too much, let me get you one third. We'll be right back. All right, first third, you get pepper, you get like a mixture of spice, you get star anise, you get nuttiness. And then you get a little bit of earthiness and sort of like a, like a medicine herb-ish kind of feel to it. And that's what this is. Which fits the Sumatra on scene. It's not like doesn't. Um, it's kind of interesting, but I feel like this one can be sweeter. And try to get there. The ash is pretty nice. I'm gonna tap it off, but I'm just gonna show you the structure. The ash is pretty nice. I think I feel very light. Um, being a double binder, that's I don't know. Okay, it draws nicely. It smokes nicely. It smokes pretty quick. Uh, I don't know if inside. No, it's long filler. I don't know. I don't know why loosely packed two binder it should have burned it slower but it doesn't so far okay uh, it fits the sumatra thing but it didn't feel like a sumatra sumatra it feels somewhat different it's more herbal it's more spice driven um cigar right now okay and if you like that you you hit the jackpot for me it's kind of like uh, i'm you leave something to desire but it tastes good uh, it, it's burning good. It smokes good. So, so far, I would say mediocre. I wouldn't say it's great, but it's mediocre start. But keep in mind, the flavor, the, the body of this thing is definitely full. It's just right in your face. You, you, you're not going to miss it. Emo, you, well, emo. Um, even a, a small draw of this gives you a lot of notes. A lot of notes. That star anise, uh, herbal, woodsy flavor is just in here. And if you like that, and I, I, here's the thing: if you're someone that smokes <clears throat> like uh, acid of some kind. This thing can probably be strong enough to correct your assumption of flavor. All right. And even this is better than, a and the, than that, obviously. But I'm saying that this has so much spice, has so much. When I say spice, it's not pepper. You know, there, there is pepper in here, but spice is like cooking spice, you know, flavor spice. And it's really a lot of those that's got to really hit your nose, really hit your palate. Not bad. So... Second third, be right back. All right, second third, it did get sweeter. 
still pretty much the same though nuttiness ramped up just a little bit um still a little bit pepper but it got sweeter it's got a little bit of sweetness to it it kind of that that give the cigar way more interesting quality than the first third that wasn't that sweet but you, you can tell that's trying to get there right it, it's really good cigar right now and especially if you like the spice now this is a sumatra it's not a maduro so you're kind of expecting that grainy that not grainy grain grain like grain 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 like um quality spice and woodsiness and earthiness uh, and nuttiness kind of thing that you're going on okay so what i'm missing right now is a little bit more saltiness sounds like uh someone that just complained but i'm what i'm saying is that i want based on what this tastes like you know when you eat something you're like oh this is missing a little salt and then you eat a little bit oh that's so much better okay use a little bit of pepper too this is what's going on right now it tastes good but i feel like this more you can give it more you can give this you can give that then you'll be perfect and it did give me a little bit of sweetness it did give me a little bit more naughtiness so it's getting there i'm i'm i'm, I'm cheering it out i'm like hey do a little bit better here do a little bit better there you can do it so let's take a look at the band Ooh, whoa, 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 whoa. Well, I almost burned my, myself. The band decided to hook onto the cigar while I'm pulling it up. All right, so we got this band. Simple. Get to the point. All the information's on here. And this is what I'm talking about. You get your brand. You get what cigar that is. You get the design. You get this uh, uh, pseudo texture. It's not texture, but just like, you know, two colors. Pseudo texture. Um, look to it. It looks pretty good. You got all the name, brand, and the color is inviting. The color, the theme is very identifiable. Like I saw it, online, I know it right away. That's it. I know it right away. That's it. So, laster, let's get smoking. If that gets me a little more saltiness, perfect. But we'll see. We'll see where that goes. I'm excited. Tastes pretty good. Um, for the price range. I want to see if this can be an everyday cigar, you know, and, and this particular one might not be an everyday cigar for me, but they have like Honduras coming out. They have, I, don't, I think Connecticut coming out. They have a, uh, I don't know, Cameroon or something like that coming out. There's, there's more stuff coming out for like this kind of line. So I'm excited for it, but especially the Honduras one. Let's, let's get to the last third. You're right back. All right. We're last third. Done. In the last stir, it's still quite flavorful. It's not as complex, but you still get that star anise, grainy, um, woodsiness, a little bit leather, S very small amount of pepper. It's about a median for this cigar uh, in terms of strength, if not less. I think it's closer to mild, but medium. You you get quite a bit of flavor out of this, but keep in mind you gotta like those flavors. It's it's uh it's uh, it's not like the what we usually smoke, you know, Nicaraguan or um you know coffee flavor. It's like grainy. It's uh it's uh woodsy. It's nutty. It's that spectrum. It's Sumatra, okay. If you like that flavor, this is a great everyday smoke. 10 bucks, you get it, no problem at all. This thing, I can imagine someone who likes Sumatra or someone that like, you know, specific type of flavor really would enjoy this kind of cigar. This is a light, easy cigar. It is not for like, you no, know, oh, mm, I like massive strength pepper that beats your face to pulp and and you know uh woodsy flavor to a, a point of ultra sweetness it's not that it's a good relaxing maybe first or second cigar of the day um enjoyment between cigars maybe even it's a good it's a good everyday cigar if you if, if, if you allow it to be okay so my review for this one yeah 10 11 bucks no problem 10 11 bucks no problem i don't think it's, it's up to 12 but 10 to 11 bucks i think that's where it is 
Not bad. I like the smoke out per. I like the draw. The flavor is relaxing. It's good. Uh, especially if you pair with coffee, something creamy. Some that's just kind of add another dimension to it. You'll be you'll be fine. Soda doesn't do very well with the cigar because the, the the spice and everything, but everything else does. Everything else does. Okay. Even even bourbon. Even bourbon. But why would you want to smoke that first in the morning with the bourbon? I don't know. Coffee will be doing it. So yeah, good cigar. I like it. I'm I, I'm I'm anxious to try the Honduras, the Maduro, because those two, if they perform the same way as this with the amount of body and the same kind of strength, it's gonna be a good cigar. So that would be it for this particular review. If you like it, make sure to like, subscribe, comment, share, and make sure to check out our podcast, check out our swag, check out our membership, make sure to join for early access, and that'll be it for today. I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.